Okay, so this is going to show you how to get a ticker board to display your RSS feeds, just like the ones that Household Hacker used for the ticker board, but instead it's going to display them on the screen. This is substantially cheaper, although it is a $25 program. So, first you're going to go to the website I put in the description. And then about halfway down the page, there's going to be this external near one. Click on that, it pops up another window, and it starts to download it. Then click save or run. It doesn't really matter. So then open up your downloads window, click show view containing folder, and then it pops up this folder, and then right click, and then open up screen ticker 2. And run it. And then choose English, click OK. And I've already installed it, so I'm not going to go through that. So, after that's installed, click on the RSS crawler icon. Then it nags you to buy it. But just click continue right there. And there it pops up. That right up there at the top. So you, it won't say any of that right there, but beyond that down arrow, click on settings, and then under feeds, it's gonna have about six from like BBC and Yahoo and Google, you can just go through and then click delete, and it asks you to if you want to delete them and then just click OK and it deletes them. So what you should probably see after that is it says no feeds selected. So if in this case you want, let's say, Household Hackers Twitter, about right here underneath all of the following icons, it has the RSS feed of Household Hackers Tweets. Right click, copy the link, and then in the settings window, right click, go to add, right click and paste it in the URI, and then make the title something like Household Hacker Twitter. Click OK. And then click on it, right click, go down to the display position, put it at the top, and it puts it right up here. Then click apply. And there you go, it just loaded up all the tweets for Household Hackers Twitter. You can add other RSS feeds to put on there. Just go through that, the design, you can go through and change the way it looks from red to blue to black, and it just changes that. So there you go, it very simply updates it every now and again, it just runs 
at the top of your screen. It it's very useful for some things, so rate the video, comment, and subscribe.